Hello, Bumpy McSquigums here, and once again we are back in Age of Wonders 3. This is my random map mini series. This is episode 10, and we are going to continue with Liana of the Huntress, the High Elf Warlord slash Lady. And we won a battle here. Surprise! We got some stuff. An item has arrived. We am pretty sure equipped that. We'll double check. We're going to upgrade our hero right now. And see what kind of amazing stuff is now available to us. So we have a giant monster and dragon slayer abilities. We have charge command. All units in the hero's army gain charge. Oh, that's sick. Okay, we're getting that right now. So anybody who has to move large distances to do some damage now does even more damage. That is pretty darn nice. We did equip it, everything is set, and we are reuniting with our other armies to move onward. This doesn't seem to like to obey me, and I wanted to... Actually, I don't want this one to grow in housing. Um, so that one's fine, it's doing its job. I think I'm going to produce a laboratory as well. That will give us some more knowledge and we'll be able to research our spells a little bit faster. I like that. How is this city going? It's five turns out before it turns. This is eight turns, and I don't know that that's ever going to change. That might be all it ever does. If that's the case, we're in a weird position with this city. Oh. Mm. Eh, whatever. We're going to roll out with it, and... You're missing one of y'all troops, sir. Uh, we are going to recombobulate some of our guys around. When we get down here, he's going to join. There we go. And we have these two orc priests, which are probably pretty decent, but I don't want them. I do not want them in my, my party. I don't know. I just I don't want them. Don't want them. Do not want them. So, we're going to try to avoid having them. And it looks like everything is going rather, rather nicely. He has leveled up. We will give him the level up that he deserves. Not the level up that he needs, but the level up he deserves. Alright, so there we go. Apparently he's leveled up twice. Well, that's just an oversight on my part. I'm sure you guys have been screaming at me. Now, I did this in bulk recording, guys. I did about three or four episodes in one shot, so if you guys notice this, I apologize for it taking me so long to realize that I somehow overlooked this, I skipped this, and yes, we would like first strike, that is an amazing ability as well. And it looks like Bumpington DC is now ready to do what? I think I am ready to do one more settler. And... I believe after that we are going to produce ourselves a griffin spire because that just sounds awesome. What do we have that's going to get us to produce more things? That's really about it. Alright, so that's our plan, that's our goal, that is our mission, our dream, you name it, it's it. So let's get her moving. So that's not a her. There, there she is. We knew she existed somewhere, somehow. Let's kind of walk out a little bit. Not too, not too crazy. We don't want to go too crazy with things. We have to meet up with him. Put the piggy on the thing, and we're gonna end our turn. She is ready to get down up in here and do what she do. And who am I gonna trade out for these two? What do I have? I have two archers and a pony. How about these two? I'll we'll set those aside for him. Is that a storm sister? It is. I like that. I think I think that'll work. I think that'll work out decently well. Yeah, we're gonna roll with that. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna move just slightly, and again, we're gonna linger. We're not gonna go too close, because I don't know. 
I still assume that they have some sort of roaming patrols that they can do. Alright. Festival of Light. The festival grants one resistance and evil slayer to units. For units dedicated to good, the resistance bonus is doubled. Yay! Units dedicated to evil do not benefit from the Festival of Light. The festival lasts for three turns. Well, that is excellent. Alright, so we have avoided this for quite some time. And it is time that we now start to increase our casting points. Shame on us for taking forever to do this. Alright, we want to replace these fellows. Oh, we can't. We have to end our turn. Now, we want to replace these fellows into his army. And then we will absorb these. And he will move not too far, unfortunately. She will move... And all of us will move. That is that is the plan. Multiple movages on all fronts. And that is mythical. So yeah, we're gonna avoid that for a little while as as well. All right, and it looks like our front runner can probably move a little bit closer. Kind of attack from a different angle. So let's see, what are we gonna be able to attack with? we can get there, you know, I don't think I'm going to go within range here. We can get there. Yeah, we should be able to surround. We should be able to do a pretty decent surround, I think. Alright. It's under a turn. New day dawns. How close can he get? Not close enough. Oh, my goodness. What is that? It was a bone dragon, a level... F Oh my gosh, oh, that was a terrible mistake to go that close. Carrion birds and bone wyverns, oh my goodness, this is not going to end well. Though that doesn't seem like they're in the same league as these other people, I wonder why they're attacking us. But maybe. Well, we may be losing three heroes here. <laughs> I don't particularly like that. Alright, can we retreat? No, so if we're attacked, we cannot actually retreat. So we're going to not hit that button. Oh my goodness. I almost rage quit on myself. None of these guys can be affected, huh? Well, let's give it a shot. That's unfortunate. How far can they move? Not quite far enough to do anything. They don't seem to and none of them seem to have any ranged attacks. Except for Gas Breath, and I don't know what the distance on that spell is. Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay, that's pretty... Oh, I didn't know I could do that. That's pretty terrible. So we're going to want to avoid that at all costs. Um, and how much health does it have? Like 190. Okay. I don't really foresee this ever working out to our advantage, but... We're going to give it a shot and see what we can come up with. Alright, let's end our turn. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Hmm. Well, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what we throw out next. I forgot you can only cast one spell per turn, no matter who's casting it. Oh gosh, I'm terrified. What's gonna happen? Did it miss? Oh, it still hit. I thought I... I thought I was good. I thought I cleared it all. Alright, well, I think the most important thing is going to be to just do everything we possibly can do to try and murder this thing down. So... We're just going to go all out aggression on the Bone Dragon. And instead of doing what we actually wanted to do, because we're amazing, I just keep hitting the wrong button combination, guys. I guess I'm like flustered and panicked at this point. That did not work. Well, the, the ultimate goal there, guys, was we're going to go all out on these wonderful, fun. Uh, this guy right here with our ranged attacks and just do massive damage and 
Hope that we can burn them down in a turn and then maybe we were strong enough to survive the remaining guys coming at us. Well, that all went by the wayside as soon as we totally whiffed on our ability to do anything at all. That was fantastic. And this Dragon Breath, I hope it's got some sort of cooldown. It's at least one turn where he can't do that. Oh, I'm just going to charge him and I get owned, but whatever. Yeah, that sucked. Alright, next. I'm going to close distance and get off to the side over... Oh, maybe here. Is that close enough to get the full... Wow, we actually almost killed the dragon. If only I wasn't an idiot at the time. We can kill the dragon. The dragon will die in the first turn. We only lost a pig so far. Alright, well... It's still not looking good, but it's looking a lot better than it was two seconds ago. So if we can get out of this with only losing one or two of our heroes, I will be very happy. And flanking again. Our hero is still alive. Who is this hero? What is your spell, sir? Uh... Panic attack. Attempts to panic the target enemy if it... If it fails, the unit is hindered instead. Hmm. I think I'll try that. There's not much else he's going to do. Well, that's not going to work at all. Okay, let's open the spellbook again. 100% blight protection on all of them, of course. And then quick dash. Ooh. That seems like it has some potential. Alright. What are we looking at here? back him up, or her up, or it, or whatever. We can lay into this guy and maybe do some work. If we only lose a pig, I'm going to be so thrilled. Can I take him out without... Yeah, yeah I can. Alright, except I didn't want to do that. That might have been a mistake. That was probably a mistake. Alright, what do we got? What do we have? We have to have something. What does she have? Sphere of protection. Oh, here we go. Harmonizing energy. Yes. Let's use that. Get you back up. Healthy-ish. Alright, that means that it's your turn. Let's, uh... Do what we can to the carrion birds. Go, piggies, go! Let's finish them off. Yeah! Alright, bring it on. I'm so happy that we we're going to survive this battle. This was looking about as nasty as possible. He's probably going to die. Yeah. It's unfortunate. But you know what? Considering what could have happened, this is not a bad thing. I'm loving the evil slayer. The fact that these things are evil is so nice. I didn't know the muskets could be used more than once per... Oh, they have a cooldown. Wow, okay. Well, I think I told you guys that completely wrong. Once upon a time in Mexico there. Wow. Okay, so apparently the muskets can be fired, but they have to be reloaded. So, I mean, it makes sense. Just an oversight, I guess. Anything else going to come and make my day really sad? No? Okay. Okay, well, we don't need really sad days, I guess. Gonna move Emain down there. There we go. Move her here. And you're not gonna be able to reach, are you? Nope. So we're gonna have to wait one more turn. Wow, that was a really fast skill research. Alright, we could do Warlord level 2 at this point, but what I think I want to do instead is. Maybe basic sea fearing on the frigates. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I want to do that. Just junction seems like a pretty decent spell. Um, spell seems like a decent spell as well. Dread siege. I like that idea actually. All right. Is it the next turn? It is not. We are going to find our our extra pig. Which I, there he is. 
He's going to come down here and join with the uh, the extras group, as we're going to call them. The town of Torfindel has, has produced a laboratory. The town of Bumpington, D.C., a high elf settler. And Isel has grown into a village. Perfect. He's going to keep pumping. All right, what do we got now? We can seek knowledge, increase that. That's pretty sweet. Um, arcane item forge. That sounds cool too. So he's just gonna keep producing random buildings that I don't know what they do yet, and we'll see how that actually works out. Did the settler? Now you're doing that. Excellent. And we need to figure out where we want to put this city. We're going to build build this city. I think we're going to build it over here. No, you know what? This city is going to go up here. That seems to be the wisest place to put the next city. And that is what we are going to do. This is still producing population, which is fantastic. And we are looking pretty good. If it grows one more time, we will gain that, and it will be a production city. At which case, we will then, or which point, rather, we will then start to do other things with it. But, that's neither here nor there. We are ready to showcase our uh, dominant strength, and we are going to lead off with Liana. Liana, attack! This is a very likely victory. And killing this unit is a is a force of good. Killing it, or er, this unit is a force of good. Killing it is an act of evil. Well, unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have to kill it anyway. It makes me sad. But we are more good than we are bad, so I think it will balance out in the end. So that is okay with me. And it declared war on me, so I mean, how is it fair that I can't actually attack and or kill it? I don't think it's fair at all. Alright. So there we go. And we have an orc priest. Hmm. Does he do one shot? He does three. Interesting. That's not too bad. We'll have to lob the snot boogers on these guys. There's all three snot boogers launched and lobbed. Another orc priest. Send him over here to lob a singular booger on these guys. The nymphs will not enjoy it, I'm, I'm sure of that. We should be able to take them out right here, though. Who is this? This is Urkane. Alright. High Elf Storm Sister. I'll have to go over here. Throw skill on that. And we'll move. Is that a, it's a crossbow? So we're going to get close to him. And utilize our crossbow and do massive damage. And then finish it with the unicorns. And a victory is ours. There we go. Simple enough. Alright, well, we're fighting three fronts, but I don't foresee them having anything of any consequence or well, anything at all, really. The good thing I'm going to, or the cool thing I'm going to do with this is these are flying units, I believe, that I'm going to be able to, to equip, uh, recruit from here. And if that's the case, I might just send them out as scouts because they can just traverse any terrain without an issue. And that makes things rather nice. I will admit. Fortunately, oh, that was a stupid place to move. Block them in shot. Whatever, they'll still do some, some decent damage. It won't be great. It'll be decent, though. Um, these? these are the high unicorn riders? Because they look like high elf. Oh, oh, it's telling me down there. I'm an idiot. Don't mind me, guys. My brain works most of the time. Most of the time. I and mean, what more could you really ask for? Alright, so pew, down he goes. And... We're kind of out of... Some things to actually contribute here at this point. Let's see if I can get over here. Maybe fire... Uh, let's still do some damage. Won't be a tremendously huge amount, but it'll be some. And can we fire on them with our... Yes, we can. Very nice. And I think we might even take them out. We did entirely. Very, very good. 
Now what do we got here? We have the High Elf Berserks, the Unicorn Riders, and the Monster Hunters. We're gonna go monster hunt this up right here. Boop! Down you go, fairy folk. And they need some more love. So we'll give them a little bit more love. There we go. A little bit more love. And that leaves just a singular unit left. Not much of an army. But they have those evil dragons that like came and helped them, so. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about these guys. They seem kind of uh I don't know. I'd say untrustworthy. That would be the word I would use. I haven't bone dragons and undead creatures defending them. Really? Really? Is that what we're is that what we're all about here? I don't think that's fair. Well, our pig leveled up once. Let's level them up again. Attack! -a! That is going to be a victory and another village slash town slash city for us. With no losses and two upgrades, I will take it. And now we have kind of a defensive choke point set up town thing type deal. I, I don't know if we necessarily need to clear out everything. But I think we might have to start doing that. Might maybe start setting up defensive towns. Like in choke points and then the towns that we don't necessarily... Or the additional towns that we make that we don't necessarily need that are more resource oriented and such we can just leave them back here places like this to get the resources why does it seem like something's missing on my grid right now there they go alright so that was checked but it wasn't working interesting I don't know I, I'm, liking, I'm liking our kingdom it's not massively huge but it's not tiny by any stretch of the imagination there's definitely room for growth, and we will grow as we need to. Alright, Emain. Onward, my dear. We have work to do. And combat to be had, and much, much awesomeness to achieve. So, let's achieve that awesomeness together, shall we, Emain? Now, what are we up against? Some dwarven dudes with the crossbows, and... Meh, I'm not overwhelmingly scared. Let's make short work of these guys, if we can, and I think that we can, not quite yet. Alright, well, let's do a little pew-pew shot there. What? Oh, the unicorn riders, eh. Well, we can completely annihilate these guys on one shot, let's do so. Goodbye, prospectors, I'm assuming they were. We have a combat log, right? Yeah, combat history. <laughs> oh, they were crossbowmen. Alright, well, we murdered the crossbowmen. Shame on them for even existing. It shouldn't be a thing. Will I be able to shoot from here? I shall not be able to do so. So I'm going to move forward. And I will shoot my longbow right into your face. And they can do nothing else. The monster hunters, meh. Move them over here along with our mounted elven archer type people. They don't seem to have much more movement than the others. Kind of makes me sad. Um, unicorns can do some work. How much are they going to... Eh, they're not going to get hurt that bad. Let's do it. I think I want to engage with them. Alright, bring it on. I have monster hunters. Don't care, guys. Let's do this. You're going to come back. Oh, you can throw rocks at me. Uh-oh. Well, that's a very smart move. Alright, well, I... am going to move here. And with my bow equipped, line of sight issues, huh? Well, let's get rid of our line of sight issue right now. Goodbye, and... So again, switching. That should pretty much annihilate them completely, I think. Yep, that's it. Battle is over. And the node is mine. Eh, a little bit of damage. Ooh, that must have been what what attacked me. Yeah, this thing. This thing attacked me. Alright. Well, you know what? We're going to do a little, uh... Well, dual, um... Attack action ourselves here. We're going to come back and teach them a lesson or two. 
These folks are going to return up to the pig. And he is actually going to start his own adventuring. I'm clearing up some nodes up from this direction, I think. Seems like the best deal, and this is now going to be absorbed by me. I do want to absorb the city. Hopefully I'm still good aligned. I think that I am. It's going to take three turns to absorb it. I'm okay with that. Uh, let's see. What is our alignment? We are good at 480. We showed mercy to guards a bunch of times. We killed a unit dedicated to evil. But we've also killed a unit dedicated to good. But the unit dedicated to good was at war with me, so technically it had to be done. Just saying. Just saying. Why did he seem to move? I think I might want him to actually go take that. Mm. What's over here? Yeah, you know what? I think I am. I'm going to come over here with my uh, next city. And he is going to move up that way. And you are going to move back this way. And... Yeah. Alright, so... And Mame is going to chill here. And Liana is going to chill here. And we're going to murder them. For sending that horrible, horrible creature to come and try to kill us. Because that was not fun. We didn't like it very much, so we're going to make you pay. <laughs> I, I don't know. Either way, guys, it's going to happen. It's not going to be much of a... Much of a battle if I if I had to guess. So it's gonna be pretty easy. All right. Well, why don't you just annihilate that guy straight out, or almost, and we'll finish it up with the berserkers because we need them to get some strength going. And boom, and boom. Oh, they life steal. Interesting. And I guess we can put the monster hunters a little closer because uh, these are Leanne's troops. Leanna's troops, so we need to uh, get her troops some more experience because these are all doing pretty darn good. Wow, that was a really big hit. The Unicorn Rider and the Long Bowman don't, but the other two did, so we did well there. And I guess we'll move Liana over. And we don't need a shot on that. We'll take a shot at them. There we go. It's not great. It's not even all that good to be honest, but it is something, and we are going to slay the monsters. Even with your lifesteal, I'm not worried. And we should finish this one off. And it did so. And we shall weaken the further back individual. And you are gold. Okay, so you can go Zerk on this guy and get rid of him. I'll take two shots, it will. And down it goes. And that leaves poor Lady Liana. Well, I guess it's a main. Over here to do a singular shot that will not slay anyone, but it is still a necessity. Well, I don't know. I suppose the Unicorn Rider could technically phase. Close enough. Nope, oh, nope. Can we do it close enough? Oh, and we're gonna waste it. Surprise! Fair enough. Alright, we're under our turn. See what is decided upon. Congratulations. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting. Alright, monster hunters. Show you all metal. And the berserkers, I guess we can let you finish them up. Because you need the experience, because you are kind of frontline guys. So there we go. Looks like you are now experts. So good, we got a, a long bowman as an expert, or a, a, what is it, an elite, I'm sorry. And it looked like he went up to expert class. Which is going to be really nice when he hits the elite class. He's going to be tireless. Not sure what that does. But, sounds like it's going to be a good thing. Alright, we can take goods. 
And we can get, ooh, a unicorn mount. It's a strong mount. It's got one resistance and... Plus one... That's weird. So, plus one resistance to magic, I guess. And the unit has plus one resistance? I don't... I don't know what that means. It's armor piercing, so it deals plus two damage to armored units. It has a blight weakness, but it gives me the ability to phase. Interesting. Oh, and we got some epic leg gear over here. Gives me some frost protection, but more shock weakness, and two defense. Where does that go? Was on the boots. Hmm. No. What does she have for uh, defenses right now? She already has 20% blight protection, so I don't lose anything going that route. The ability to phase seems pretty nice, but we lose the blight protection that we already have. And we lose... Eh, I think I'm going to send this off. I don't think I want that. Uh, that can go to him. And so can this. I think I sent the wrong thing to him, but it's okay. I didn't want either of them to have it. So there we go. So that is done and clear. And I guess we split ways here. I'm going to send Liana back up. But we're going to level up the main first. And does she have anything amazingly awesome looking? Tangling touch. I guess it's the same thing as a shocking touch. Revitalize. Channels the invigorating property... property <laughs> invigorating properties of nature to revitalize Target friendly unit, uh, the unit abilities are taken off cooldown, and 50% of its movement is restored. Mm. Vengeful Vines. Oh, it can break the structures of civilizations. Huh. Some interesting stuff here. Gotta say. I think. I don't know. Spirit of the land, uh, natural immunity. Tangling touch seems really good, and so does this. I think we're gonna have to back away from that though. As much as I'd like to, I think I need to step back and get something else. But what else is there worthy of getting? See, that's the question. I think I might get Befriend Animal. And then maybe a hit point and a melee strength increase. It's not exactly the greatest of leveling up abilities, but it should give me some potential to steal some of the troops that we are having to do battle with. And who knows, maybe we can supply another entire army with nothing but animal troops. And they should still be able to clear out some things with that. And if we lose them, not that big of an issue. Not that big of an issue. Alright, so I believe everybody else has already moved. Yeah, it looks that way. And our turn. We have a skill research that needs to be done. Dredge Siege was done. Inspire Loyalty. The caster and their empire's heroes gain Inspire Loyalty. All units in the hero's army that has Inspire Loyalty gain Volunteer. Units with Volunteer require 50% less upkeep, so it's a way of getting more gold. So gold for magic? I think I want that. That seems really good too. And it looks like two of our heroes have leveled just from being amazing. So, floating. Huh. I think we're going to get floating, and then that will be the person I'm actually going to go send her back to the other deal. So basically, she just now bought herself... Well, floating's not the same as flying, but she bought herself the ability to go chill over there now. She is on her own. He returns back. He is the pig lord with his buddy. He also got an upgrade. Imperial authority. Huh. Interesting, that's not a bad thing. Invention? No. Mm. Throw net. Cannot take any action move or retaliate. That does seem good, though. 
Pest Control Squad. All units in the Heroes Army gain Animal Fey and Monster Slaying. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Sabotage deals damage to a machine unit or wall. Wall climbing. We're going to get thrown net. I like that. And what is a Wizard Hunter? I just want to see what that is. Inflict Immolation. Oh, that's pretty good too. I might have to get that next. Wizard Hunters. All units gain a plus one resistance and summon slayer, causing them to deal additional damage to summoned units. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Alright, so at this point, tunneling. I, I don't know. That might come in handy. I don't think we've really run into that being a thing that we need just yet, but it sounds like it's got the potential to be pretty amazing. We will let them run because we are just generous people. Ooh, and we got the Blade of the Blade Dancer. That sounds pretty awesome. You get Backstab. I'm not going to send this to the, her because she does mostly ranged attacks. Performing a melee flanking attack. That is disgusting. Alright, we're going to send that to... Um, I want to say we're going to send it to our chick, but she's got the Blunderbuss and everything now as well. I don't know. I don't know who to send that to. Um, oh, maybe I'll send it to her anyway. Maybe I'll start using her more for, uh, melee attacking. When the thing's down. Because I, I tend to switch between the two ranged weapons, but, I mean, if one of them's down, or the big one's down, I can always go into a backstab attack. I mean, six damage is pretty significant. That is a pretty large amount of damage being done, so we need to get up there and clear that out. Our settler is on his way as well. And we need to confirm her army movement, which is kind of non -ex Ooh. Existent. Hmm. Well, we're going to have to deal with him moving in. Which we can't quite do. Hmm. Well, looks like we're going to have to do manual combat. Well, that's embarrassing. All right. Well, let's let's see what happens. Ah, it's not really embarrassing. It's annoying, if nothing else, I suppose. They're sending these stupid little waves of guys at us, and really, they they can't do anything to us, but they can steal our town because it's undefended. That's well, I guess that's something, right? Oh, we can actually shoot over a person now for some reason that we can't always do. And we just did some significant damage on the human berserkers. Uh, what are they? A Dwarven Scoundrel, an Orc Scoundrel. Well, let's make sure that you guys aren't having a good day either. Alright. The Berserk. Can the Berserk beat the Berserk? Not necessarily. Maybe with a Monster Hunter backing him up, he can do a little bit more work. There we go. I forgot, guys. I, I keep forgetting I need to double right click to get this stuff going quicker. There we go. The combat does not need to take as long as I'm making it take, so I apologize for that. I generally do get close when I go for the musket shot, too. So that is kind of a cool... Wow, that was a pretty big hit. And we annihilated them, and the Unicorn Riders didn't get to do anything. They saw no combat whatsoever. And at this point, I will see if I can figure out what to do with that guy, but we're going to break off the episode once again. So this is going to end episode 10 of my Age of Wonders 3 random map miniseries. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying it. I am. This game is so much fun, and I am absolutely loving it. Hopefully you guys, well, you're inspired, you go pick up the game, and then maybe you guys can start some epic uh, random maps, and or play the scenario along with me when I start doing the uh, campaigns. Either way, guys, that's going to do it for me right now. My name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.